you can customize your team's experience in a number of ways. For example, your very left-hand navigation is going to be a little bit customizable just by using drag and drop. So for example, if you want to put approvals higher up on your list, simply just drag and drop that to the place where you'd like to have it. So you can rearrange that a little bit. Right, and you can also pin additional apps there. So if you use tasks a lot, for example, you might open that up. And then if you want it to stay there for next time, be sure to pin it just by right clicking and choosing pin. Right, now most of what we're going to talk about the rest of this lesson is up in the upper right hand corner. You've got a settings ellipsis and your profile. If I use the settings ellipsis and then choose settings, we'll see the same spot we saw earlier with notifications. But there's a number of things you can adjust here, such as the high contrast theme, the dark theme, and anything that you might want to adjust as far as how Teams operates on the back end. Okay, and I've got multiple accounts sometimes, so if you're working at multiple companies or hopping in and out of tenants, you might see additional accounts here tied to your email address. You've got your uh, privacy settings, so if you ever use the Do Not Disturb status, you can manage anybody who could break through that perhaps, so you make sure you don't miss something very important. Uh, we've talked about notifications a little bit, but if anything's too much or too little, you might be able to adjust that there. And you've got devices, captions and transcripts, all kinds of stuff over here. So any kind of personal settings you want to change for yourself, you're going to find uh, there. Now your profile photo is a little bit different. It's all about your status, your presence, um, and how you're appearing to other people. So for example, right now, Megan has a green check mark, meaning she's available. Uh, but let's say she's trying to read something or trying to focus on a project and doesn't want to be disturbed. She can drop down available and choose do not disturb. And that's going to make sure that people um, can't send her notifications that pop up and distract. So she won't get any sounds or any pop ups. Um, unless she changed her settings that that person had priority access, right, that we just looked at. Okay, uh, she can also set a status message. So in addition to saying do not disturb, she may say, I am in a workshop until noon. Right? And then she would check the box to show that when people message her. So they know that in addition to Megan having her status set to do not disturb, it says, oh yeah, I forgot Megan's in a, a workshop. That's right. Okay, and maybe, you know, since it's only until noon, she might say that can automatically go away after four hours or one hour or a custom time. So once that workshop is over, she doesn't have to remember to change that back to available. All right, so we've got our custom status there displaying to people when they try to message us. We've got our do not disturb status. So one other thing we can do from here is change our out of office message. So maybe Megan's planning a trip uh, and wants to make sure that people know when they email her that she'll be out. So in that case, we still want to edit that status message, but in the lower left hand corner, that's where you find schedule out of office. So from here, it works similarly to how you would in Outlook, where you just turn on the automatic replies, you say, Something like, sorry, I'm out of office. And then you can choose to send outside your organization and only in a specific time period. So maybe I don't want to send replies outside my organization, so just my internal colleagues will get my out of office. And maybe I only want to send it starting tomorrow at a specific time, such as, let's say, 7 a.m. until Friday at 5 p.m. All right, so between 7 and 5 tomorrow, automatic replies will be sent to anybody internal at my company telling them, sorry, I'm out of office, and maybe I have instructions to contact somebody else, for example. And I click Save. All right, so I've changed my status, uh, my availability, my out-of-office messages, and we explored our personal settings.